This presentation on coding is sponsored by the National Cancer Registrar's Association Education Foundation. During this presentation, we will discuss the different coding applications and manuals used to abstract. You will also learn why the manuals and applications are so important in data standardization. Cancer registries use many coding manuals and applications to, to determine if a case is reportable and to code different portions of the abstract. These coding manuals and applications listed here standardize data collection, making sure it is accurate, timely, and complete. The Standards of Oncology Registry Entry Manual is developed by the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer. This data dictionary manual is indispensable to all registrars and must be followed by all COC accredited facilities as it provides direction on how to accurately complete and code all data fields of an abstract. It clearly instructs abstractors on which malignant and benign tumors are reportable and must be abstracted. It outlines the code description, the rationale or the reason why the data item is collected, a definition that provides additional background on the data item and its clinical importance, as well as the coding instructions and allowable codes for each data field collected within the abstract. To experience using the store manual and assigning codes for the different data fields, please see the activity exercises that are available. The International Classification of Diseases for Oncology Manual is used to code the patient's primary site of cancer, the organ the tumor originated, and the histology, including the behavior of that histology. The behavior code indicates that the tumor is a benign, borderline, in situ, or invasive tumor. For example, the primary site code for a sigmoid colon cancer is C18.7, 18 for colon and 0.7 for sigmoid, a subcategory of the colon. An invasive adenocarcinoma is assigned as a code 81403-3. 8140 identifies the cancer as an adenocarcinoma and a 3 indicates the tumor behavior is an invasive malignant tumor. To learn how to assign primary site and histology codes, please go to the site and histology activity that is available. The American Joint Committee on Cancer Staging Manual allows for concise staging of the tumor identified by a T, the N is for nodes, and the M indicates if there is distant metastasis or not. Additional factors may play a role in the calculation of the AJCC prognostic stage group for a disease site. Each primary site has its own chapter and instructions within this manual for accurate staging of the patient's cancer. However, there are some primary sites that are not staged using the AJCC staging manual, such as brain tumors and leukemias. SEER summary stage is the most basic way of categorizing how far a cancer has spread from its point of origin. The summary staging categories are broad enough to measure the success of cancer control efforts and other epidemiologic efforts. Summary stage is applicable to all malignant primary sites, including lymphoma and leukemia. A combination of clinical and pathological information is used to determine the SEER stage. Clinical information includes all information found before treatment has begun. Pathological information includes information found from the surgical resection of the primary cancer. Please view the cancer staging presentation for a more in-depth explanation of AJCC TNM staging and SEER summary stage. The Solid Tumor Rules Manual was developed to promote consistent and standardized coding by cancer registrars. These rules guide the process of determining the number of primary sites or primaries a patient has. At times, a patient may have multiple primaries, that is, more than one cancer at the same time or throughout their lifetime. The cancer registrar must complete an abstract for each cancer primary a patient has. The Solid Tumor Rules also assist the cancer registrar in assigning the correct histology code, especially when the patient's tumor has multiple histologies or a combination of histologies. The Site-Specific Data Item Manual is a primary resource for documentation and coding instructions for site-specific data items. Each site-specific data item applies only to selected schemas. There are 153 schemas which are defined based on site histology and used to assign applicable site-specific factors. Like the store manual, the SSDI manual is a data dictionary that outlines the code description, the rationale, a definition that provides additional background on the data item and its clinical importance, as well as the coding instructions, format, and allowable codes for each site-specific data item for that cancer site. 
Examples of site-specific data items that would be collected by a cancer registrar for breast cancer include estrogen receptor status, progesterone receptor status, HER2 status, and oncotype DX tests. The grade manual is used to assign codes for the tumor's grade. The tumor grade is a measure of the aggressiveness of a tumor. The pathologist's microscopic examination of tumor tissue determines the grade of the tumor. Grade can be defined in a number of ways. The most common way to define grade is an assessment of how closely the tumor cells resemble the normal cells of the organ of origin. A few examples would include well-differentiated tumor cells closely resemble the normal cells, poorly differentiated and undifferentiated tumor cells are disorganized and abnormal looking, Poorly differentiated bears little resemblance, and undifferentiated has no resemblance to the normal cells from which they originated. Tumor grade is an important prognostic indicator for many tumors, so it is critical that the cancer registrar codes these data items correctly. Hematopoietic and lymphoid neoplasms are leukemia, lymphoma, and blood disorders. The hematopoietic database is used to determine if a patient has a single or multiple hematopoietic lymphoid neoplasm or a transformation from one hematopoietic neoplasm to another hematopoietic neoplasm. For example, a patient may have a history of chronic myelogenous leukemia and now presents with an acute myelogenous leukemia. The registrar would need to determine if this is the same primary that has transformed from a chronic to an acute state or a new primary neoplasm. In this instance, the database would instruct the registrar that acute myelogenous leukemia is a new primary and not a recurrence of transformation of the previous chronic myelogenous leukemia. The abstractor would then complete a new abstract for the acute myelogenous leukemia primary. This database also assists the cancer registrar in assigning the correct histology code. This database has additional information about each type of the hemopoietic and lymphoid neoplasm. Please feel free to click on the link provided and search the database. CRRx is a web-based application which updates are performed automatically so users do not have to install anything to access the latest revisions. CRRx was developed as a one-step lookup for coding oncology drug and regimen treatments. The cancer registrar searches the database by entering an oncology drug name or regimen and the software indicates how the drug or drugs need to be categorized and coded in the cancer registry abstract. The oncology drug categories that cancer registrars use are chemotherapy, hormone therapy, and immunotherapy. The link to access CRRx is provided for those who would like to search the application. To summarize, the cancer registrar uses multiple coding applications and manuals to complete an abstract. Using these applications and manuals ensures standardization and coding consistency of all the data. Thank you. This presentation is brought to you by the National Cancer Registrar's Education Foundation. For more information on the Education Foundation, go to www.ncraeducationfoundation.org. For more information on the cancer registry profession, go to the NCRA website at www.ncra-usa.org.